Give me some love right now for the downside with John Marco Sarasi. Hello. Hello. Welcome to uh, a live taping of the downside. How's everyone doing? You good? Yeah. Well, time to be not good because this is this is where we talk some shit. This is where we get negative. This is where it's okay to complain about the humidity. I, uh, uh, real, real quick, round of, round of applause if, if you have never listened to The Downside before. Oh. All right, hey! Oh, wow. That's, that's new, that's okay. new. For a while, it was... Seriously? It was, yeah. For a while, it was surprising. Yeah, it, it would be you like heard, a full... You heard, I asked the negative, not the yeah. positive. <laughs> Did you think it was... You thought no, no one had no, listened? No, 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 no. But, but usually, when we have the live shows, it's like 75% has never even heard of this podcast. Sure. So it's strange that they're but there. But I think this one we had, you, we had a, a made a big drag true, queen. True, true, true. Uh, uh, no, but... Well, okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, so here's the thing. Listen, I... I uh, uh, thanks for leaving this row open. I like seats yeah. just in case. I want to take and a thank break. You mid show. Too. Yes, we're this is brave. On a Very date brave. With you right now. Good if job. We're so close. <laughs> so so yeah. here's the thing with these live shows that I've noticed. Sometimes I think people who love podcasts, and I say this as a podcast lover myself, don't leave the house very often. And <laughs> there's a there's sometimes there's a <laughs> there's a politeness. There, there's a, there's a, there's a like, oh, this is like what how yeah. I would listen to it at home. Feel free to laugh, feel free to <laughs> clap, feel free to be joyful, because I'm in a, I'm in a shit mood. Uh oh. I'm in a shit mood. Oh no. I, uh, I got a flight to uh, cancel yeah. yesterday, but we're not gonna complain about airlines because we do that every fucking episode. <laughs> yeah. How are you? How are you, Russell? I'm, I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm a little tired. I fell asleep. Last night, uh, I was doing a lot of work to fix up the house. Basically, my wife, she's been gone for a week and a half, and I did that thing where it was, you know, the house, it fell, it had fallen on hard times. And so I got Because home. she wasn't there is what you're saying. No, though. no, 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 just, you, you have less, when you're alone, you, your standard of yes. living is less. You're <laughs> like, well, there's just things everywhere, you I know? think, you know, there's like, there's like a half-life, like, how quickly do you think we deteriorate to the guys we were when we were single it, with, it, with it, roommates? In two days, <laughs> in two it's, days it's hell. That's it's second day, you're shaving your pubes on the shaft, you just, know, your chest. There's, and oh, you there's spread it dishes, out. Five. dishes, laundry, there's food everywhere. There's t like, you know, crumpled up paper towels just in the in the middle of the, the rug. Like it's just, so I, it had been a long time. It was bad. And I had a show and I then there was a going away party afterwards. So I got home late and I was like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do this all tonight. I'm going to do the laundry, do the dishes, do the vacuuming, do everything. And at 2.30 a.m., I was, I was not done. And I, I said, let me just sit down for a minute. And I fell asleep. I fell asleep in an upright position like this yeah. and woke up at 7.30 a.m. I hadn't even fallen over. I didn't topple over. I just was like this still. And so uh, contacts in still. Oh. Uh, yeah. How, how, no. much, how much did you drink that night? Okay. Not that much. I had, I, had, <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had three drinks at the after party, and then I didn't drink anything at home. That's weird, because you tell your doctor you don't ever drink. Isn't that correct? <laughs> uh, uh, well, do you mind if I introduce the guests so we can get going here? Okay, okay for you? I didn't know um, Okay, uh, ladies and gentlemen, here's, here's something that we did, I think, with this one, which I think is interesting. We did announce the show before we got the guests booked. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm, I'm sure for some of you, and this is no offense to your entire profession, some of you probably are not wrestling fans. <laughs> it's okay but if you're not. We don't here's the assume. thing is, we don't I assume. am... And 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 I love you? I love wrestling. It's it's theater, and it's 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 actually probably a gayer than musical theater if you I, really I, think about I, it. <laughs> I mean, if we're really being honest with ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So please welcome our guest today, Bobby Orlando. Everybody. Bobby! I don't want to yell too loud. I don't want to break the mic. No, you can you yeah. can you can go for it. So Bobby, we're we're excited. We're here. To, we're going to talk about the downsides of 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 wrestling of everything. Bobby is uh uh, uh so someone wrote me. Okay. They said how. They they asked me to ask you how would you describe your your persona? Okay. Oh no. Yeah, I'll tell you what they said. I'm excited to hear. Yeah. Well, you go first. Oh, what I think that they said, or what no, I no, well, well, you are. Yeah. Tell people. You know, so I like to call myself the goatest of all time. So admit, it's a little play on words. People say, like, "Oh, you're the goat. You're the goat." That's Got the greatest it. of oh, all yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. You think for I don't think I don't think who here did not know what goat stood for. I feel like there's a couple. Maybe oh, not. No, there's some. You you knew? No, I knew. Yeah. You knew the goat. Okay, so the but goat this is, is a tier above. above. So you're the, the greatest of the greatest of all time. The greatest there ever was, and and, and all that stuff. 
sure. What wrestling league are you in again? I'm an independent professional wrestler. So okay. it's like kind of like freelance style, not really signed to any major TV company. So it's kind of like, you know, just freelance. Sure. Um, now tell me <coughs> oh, your experience with, with wrestling at all. I, I None. None. I, I, mm. I, I didn't know you were a fan. I, I was very much a fan. when I, So when I was a kid, my dad took me to a wrestling match. I was really into this group called DMX. Not DMX, that's the rapper. You mean DX? <laughs> DX. There de you go. De de gener is it de de Generation? D Generation X. De gen okay, anyway. you see why I got there? I heard Generation, I had the D. You were very close. Yeah, yeah. D, d Generation X. And their whole thing, and again, like I'm like in second grade, their whole thing was suck it. Yes. And they would just be like, suck yes, it. That was really big. And yeah. I'm walking around with my friends. In, yeah. in fourth grade, second grade, third grade, and, and we don't even know what we're saying. Yeah. I don't even think I put together the, the P. I just thought it was like, suck, suck, yeah. you suck. Yeah, you yeah. suck. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And, and I, I remember this. It's such a weird memory because I, it's like a memory I, I understood when I was years older. My dad and I, we were walking, and we saw these after the wrestling match, and we saw this group of, of drunk teenagers holding this big, like, oblong uh, inflatable. Uh -huh. And I was like, and it said, suck it on the side. Yeah. And I was like, dad, what's, what's that? And he said, that's a middle finger. And then like years later, I was just sitting and I was like, oh, it was a penis. It was a big oh. fucking penis that said, suck it on the side. Yeah. So for me, wrestling was like, it, it had a little bit of the taboo. Danger. It was danger. Sexy. You'd watch a pay-per-view on Sunday. Yeah. The friends would come over. When, how old are you? I just turned 27. Fuck. Okay. Wow. Oh no. <laughs> I feel really old though. So I, uh, I think it's like you either alive, you were conscious for 9/11, or you weren't, and that's the two kind of people. Yeah. We don't need we don't need millennials and Gen Z. It really is like yeah. you were you remember. Yeah. Or you you feel fine with yeah. flying still. Yeah. <laughs> you're fine if TSA is like not on point. Yeah. And you lie about your age, so. Uh, I do. He, I've never lied about my age. He does. Someone he lies here, about his age. and I appreciate it, lied about me online. No. Okay. We're not. Gonna, I don't want to. I don't want to have this fight with you again. But I know that you fed someone a wrong birthday at some point. And online, if you look, it says you're four years younger than you are, and you're not. So just own that you're in your mid thirties in front of everyone here. Okay. Right now. I. I honestly, when I'm next to someone in the early forties, I feel oh. like I'm running out of heart. Oh yeah. Tensions are high. Okay. So, so what? What age did you start getting into wrestling? So I started getting into wrestling around 2007. That's when I was 11. Uh, and <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Math is hard, but I'm I'm very proud of myself for figuring that one out. Yeah. Um, so I watched it when I was 11, which I feel like is like the normal age group. Like kids, you know, they transfer into middle school, and that's kind of when you start, you know, getting new hobbies and stuff like that. So wrestling was pretty much from that moment on my life. Who was big for you at first? Like oh. yeah, at 11. Who's your Who's your number one? Oh. Yeah. Day one, uh, Batista. 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 Oh. Shake, shake the ropes. He would go like that. It would be really cool. And I, that, that was the bad thing. <laughs> People are flipping. People are smashing tables. And as he goes to the rope and he's like. He shakes the ropes. Actually, when I was a kid, because I, I really love Batista, we went to this petting zoo. Um, so, like, they had these cables that would, like, keep the horses out from, like, escaping and stuff like that. So, I'm like, okay, I'm going to shake the ropes, you know, like Batista. It was an electric fence. <laughs> oh my god! Um, and did you f you fully like when it, you were you making was, noise like? I was, ah, I was, ah, was, yeah, I was like, it was like a oh, Batista die, and I flew backwards. You flew backwards. I, well, you know, that was I'm, like your first body slam. That was my first bump. Uh, but I'm, you know, I was like kind of like a dramatic kid, but uh. You, you think it wasn't? It? Your your parents were like, it's not electric. Would you knock it the fuck off? It, mm. it, it was electrical because uh, I didn't read the big signs next to it that said electrical fence. How much did it hurt? Did you have to go to the hospital? So, like, for, for some reason, and this is kind of why I'm very happy that I chose the profession that I did. I have a really, really high pain tolerance. Interesting. Interesting, I know. Okay, you n no pain tolerance? Or are you okay? I think I'm okay with pain tolerance, yeah. Okay, I'm, f I'm fine. Needles hurt. Uh -huh. I just know because of my girlfriend that I don't have the lowest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So your pain tolerance is, is high. Scarily high. When did you first realize that? Was it the electrical fence? You went back it, to the fence and you're like, look what I can do. It might have been the electrical fence. Also, uh, growing up as a kid, I really liked Jackass. 
Uh-huh. And so, you yeah. know, you did the whole thing with your friends. Like, I had a really cool bunch of kids I grew up with in the same neighborhood. And I had this little flip camera, right? Yeah. This is before you could, like, film. So, so I am kind of old. This is before you could film all your things on Shut your phone. Shut the fuck up. You're 20. <laughs> I don't want to hear no. that at all. No. Well, nonetheless. Yeah, we had a <laughs> flip phone for two decades before. <laughs> this is before you could film HD videos <laughs> yeah, on your yeah, phone. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I would always be the one who would just, like, jump off of, like, tree houses and, like, jump, like, do, like, front flips in the bushes and stuff like that. Because, you know, f- fun, I guess, to some people. But um, but you, like, did, did you ever break anything? Did you ever? Yes. I've broken many bones. I The one thing that I was trying to do as a kid, there was, like, a tree that fell over. But, like, the stump or, like, something or, like, the log was, like, perfectly placed. So you get a good bounce off it. So I'm like, oh, I'm doing a backflip. Uh, I did the flip. Didn't land it. Well, I guess I landed it. But I landed on my foot, which then snapped in half. Oh, my oh God. My um, God. Oh. But for some reason, I was like, oh, cool. Now I get to leave class early. Because, like, when you're a kid, you had the crutches. Oh. You get to leave class, like, 10 minutes early. Yeah. Uh, so that was the major when I was a kid. I also was a big skateboarder. But I kind of stopped that once I started wrestling. Because I'm like, I'm going to get hurt doing this. And I'd rather get hurt doing the thing I'm passionate about. And But I think that's a big part of, like, I was injury averse at a young age. Mm-hmm. And that's prevented me from ever doing anything like this. Yeah. Did you? I, I, well, I, in fifth grade, broke my ankle. Uh, and you were, uh, you were back flipping off a tree as well. No, I was walking down <laughs> slowly, walking down a slide, and I fell. Oh. And uh, like slow motion, broke my ankle. Oh, no. And uh, I was too embarrassed to like. I, you, it was that thing where you were like, uh, "It'll be okay." And I was just laying in the grass. It was like a parent's barbecue. Like it was like barely any kids there, you know. Like yeah. and I was too old, about to be in middle school, to be walking down a slide, you know. So yeah. I just kind of like, while the parents were having the barbecue, I was laying in the grass for probably like 20 minutes, just kind of, and one of the parents was like, "Is what's Russell doing? Like, And then they discovered that I uh, broke my ankle. So, um, but I, And they're like, he's never going to be a wrestler. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of the, the, uh, the crutch thing, getting to leave class early. So I had, a, you know, I, I got to use the elevator because yeah. I was on crutches. And um, I'll, one time, one on this journey this time of when i had crutches i um left class early and the other the class was going down to rehearse their like moving up day ceremony we're, we're going graduating fifth grade to go sixth grade and so i went early and to use the elevator and the janitor <laughs> had waxed the floor <laughs> by the elevator <laughs> and i slipped the crutches <laughs> slipped i fell and the crutch slid across the hall, and then my whole class walked by slowly <laughs> as I was laying on the ground trying to get my crutches. Um, so yeah, uh, but uh, I didn't have fun in that experience. Yeah. yeah, I that's that's very sad. Yeah, very sad. Because they probably thought you were faking it that second time. They're like, "That's Russell again. Yeah, He's yeah, always yeah, falling yeah. <laughs> and then lying down." That's our Russell. Yeah, yeah. Um. Cause I when I when I went through like my wrestling phase, which I, I would think was like middle school, like fifth or eighth grade, I used to think there was like you, you did a knee drop, you just jumped and you landed with your knees on the person or whatever. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I used to do it like raw on the ground, on the wood. And I used to be like, Dad, look at this. My knees are invincible. Mm. And I would jump oh. off the couch like just straight. Oh. And we had like a wooden floor, so a little bit of a bounce. Yeah. But like slamming them yeah. and they'd be like i don't feel anything dad yeah and my knees are so fucked up now yeah <laughs> but uh uh okay so when 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 i was that age i feel like i don't know when the golden ages of wrestling were but it definitely felt like there was there was a, a burst yes um and i know that partially because there was one kid who died in florida from wrestling moves Probably and this is like when anything. parents were it was just one of those moments where parents were like like they do with video games or yeah. rap music where they're like, yeah. this is dangerous. No, yeah, that's definitely probably happened. That's why there's always those like, uh, like don't try this at home things right before like every show. Yeah, and, and teen, little boys listen to those for 100%. I certainly didn't. Yeah. I, I was giving my f- – so I had a friend. He slept over, and I would try <laughs> you know, a, a move of the figure four. You, oh. you know this. So figure four. Here, get up real quick. No, I just said that. It's a joke. <laughs> you wanted but, that front seat so bad. Get up here. You were ready. <laughs> you were in the first row. <laughs> I mean, just not even oh a God. moment's hesitation. That's great to know. Yeah. Um, wow. Can you give me a chai latte really quick? I, so <laughs> so it's, it's basically just a hold you, you, where you, you, you twist your legs, but ultimately you get them like this, and you yeah. apply pressure here. Mm. And I applied the pressure for like three seconds. He 
burst into tears because it's wait, uh, was painful. He playing along? Or you yeah, I wasn't. Did that to I, him. It was like oh. it was like look at this move, uh -huh. and then uh, the moment I did, he burst into tears because it's a. Uh, it's a real move. Like if you yeah. do it the right right way, you're gonna cause some damage. So okay, so you're you did you do gymnastics as a kid, or you just knew how to back foot? I'm like deceivingly athletic. Where like I'll be like, oh, this. Kids, what do you mean deceivingly? You're not wearing a single sleeve well, on yeah. your entire <laughs> body right now. <laughs> No, because like when I was a kid, I definitely like didn't do that many sports. Like I played baseball, but I, I would always play like a right field. Like right fielders, they, like that's the position you go if like you're not really good. So like the coach puts you out there. Yeah. Um, but never did any like sports besides that. Never went to gymnastics class. Never went to just anything. But for some reason, like when I'd get on that trampoline, boy, I was invincible. Trampoline. Mm -hmm. That's that's also we, we. I had a big trampoline in my backyard. And I would oh. take a big. I had a big stuffed like dinosaur toy, and I would do moves. I had this big, like big teddy bear. I would just like suplex and stuff on the grass. Net or no net? Uh, no net. No net. We didn't do it either. But again, it felt like this was the age where they still let kids get hurt. Like there were yeah. kids jumping off trampolines, breaking yes. their necks. Yeah. And uh, uh, so okay, so you're doing that. Yeah. You are. You have injuries here and there, but you're 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 staying strong. You go to the gym. You working out at this point? When I was a kid, when you were like in high school. Oh no 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 no. Yeah. I didn't start getting the like the gym and like working out consistently until I started training to become a wrestler. Okay. Were you doing theater? <laughs> I technically was involved in theater, but I was mostly just the guy who would like move the props on the stage and stuff like that. Because sure. like my friends were in theater, but I'm like ah like I was like really shy when I was a kid. So the fact that I'm like, even like able to like perform like in a ring and like do all this stupid stuff is like. Pfft, Beyond me, like different guy from when, I, like from who I was in high school. Can you tell when there's a wrestler who was a theater kid versus one who wasn't? <laughs> like I feel like with comedians, there's absolutely a difference between yeah. like me and like a good comedian. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, it's oh, fine. It's oh, fine. It's oh, fine. Oh. It's fine. I'm confident. <laughs> I, uh, but you know what I mean, like like a a groundedness or, yeah. or just you 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 know I'm moving. And yeah. Oh, my oh, God, oh, you really go. are moving. <laughs> You almost in a back you you're wrong. We're just never going to fix this, right, Dave? <laughs> um, so, uh, <laughs> so okay. So you you weren't doing theater, but you kind of you, you knew about it. I was involved. I also uh, was in the film, like I was in film production classes. So that's what I was really passionate about. Was like the behind the scenes stuff. Is like I like movies and TV shows and stuff, but I'll be the guy behind the cameras. Now it just switched. I like being in front of the cameras. Okay, and um, I'm trying to think. So wait, let me say one more major. Two more wrestling things. Yes. First of all, does anyone here, does anyone here, it's okay if you don't, like, ever went through a wrestling phase or ever loved a particular wrestler? The, the way that you're yes. shaking your I head no, it's, it's like a sadness to it. Like, uh. no, is there a second guess? So, um, who... Oh. <laughs> I'm just fucking nah, it's all right, yeah. who, who said yes? Yes. Hi. Oh, yeah. oh, well, yes. Well, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, we're going to talk to you. You, you. We went to musical theater school together. Yeah. You were acting. I was, uh, you know, and uh, now you run a wrestling organization. Yeah, Okay, we'll, we'll come back to you in a second. Yeah. Who else? Anyone else? You. Yeah. Who did you like? Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Oh, yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Undertaker. Undertaker, that's my favorite. The Rock, obviously, and... The Rock, your friend. Yeah. Yes, The yeah. Rock. The yeah. Rock, who went to my college, who saw me in Hello, Dolly. Oh, but <laughs> your, your buddy Dwayne. <laughs> and then proceeded to get mad at me at line because I made fun of him for showering too much. But the uh, So The Undertaker, The Undertaker, you know what would be a great... If you ever got into wrestling later in life for some reason, The Undertaker originally his character he he was very he wore like a suit with a purple tie and purple gloves. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it be a great Halloween duo if I was The Undertaker and he was The Undertaker's sidekick? What's uh, what was his name? Uh, Paul Bear. Oh, that was his manager. Yeah, he Paul had a Bear. Manager uh -huh. Paul Bear. And <laughs> let's just say we both fit. We both fit the it's not a flattering <laughs> picture uh, you're painting. Hey, <laughs> you're like, this, it would be this so fat funny. Piece of shit manager. <laughs> You, you get to carry play. a cool urn, though. You get to carry an urn the yeah. whole Halloween night. Yeah. You're carrying an urn. You get wow. to put your candy in there. It's awesome. Wait, I have a question about wrestling. Um, yes. Was there wrestling before Hulk Hogan? <laughs> like, yeah. like in that way. Like, because you know what I mean. Like, he feels like one of the earliest of like what it or is. Or pop culture. He pop was yeah. definitely culture. in pop culture, like mainstream. He was definitely the one that like 
people like that's what got a lot of people into it. But the, wrestling's been around for a very long time. Like I'd say like almost as early as like the 1920s. It started as like a circus attraction. Yes, but I think so. So I've seen like uh, uh, some museums where they talk about like freak shows. Yeah, and it's like the world's tallest man, and then you think mm-hmm. of Andre the Giant, and you just think of this collision or just the evolution of like wrestling is part freak show, part like a gymnastics thing. It's like the circus come to life with it. It's oh, it's so cool. Yeah. Get into it. So <laughs> the 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 Undertaker, he, he was my he was like my favorite and for he's he's kind of he's pretty conservative now. I don't know. He's he's like that's what's weird about wrestling again. It's like a lot of like theater but super masculine. Yeah. It's it's a just fascinating. So he he pre, he was like the undead or whatever. And his his thing, he would roll back his eyes uh, to like scare his opponents. Okay. And what I did when I played basketball in fifth grade. <laughs> To make up for my lack of basketball skills, at the beginning of the game, I would go up to the opposing team, rolling the eyes. Wait, can you? Let me see. But here's the thing: we gotta see. I it. can't really do it. So it was like so this. So what were you doing? <laughs> Did someone throw me the ball? It hit me right in the face. Uh, so I loved. Yeah, that was my. So we one more over here. You? Who did you love? Oh, China. China. China was the best. Oh, so there's China. a China sex tape thing, right? Okay, well, she had a full career okay. before that. <laughs> oh, put some my respect God. on China's name. I'm trying to oh connect with the things God. that I know about, and I'm trying to like put things together. Now, did you know that Kim Kardashian is also <laughs> an excellent actress, Russell Daniels, and has a fashion line? Yes, I know all of it. Yeah, Paris Hilton is one of the best uh, DJs of our time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So China, China was part of the Suck It Degeneration X. Yeah, mm-hmm. and uh, uh, she was she was strong, um, uh, and and I don't know like now uh, women wrestling is is such a big part of of but back then it was not as frequent, right? No, definitely. Like the women's evolution over the past like ten years has definitely been like something like monumental, and the women have gotten like equal opportunities. But back then, like most women, they wouldn't really get that much TV time or stuff like that. But China was definitely like not only just out of the women, like out of all the wrestlers on TV, stood out the most. Yeah, super cool, super athletic, insane look. Never met, obviously, but I've heard amazing human being. But then what what happened? Is I believe this is correct. She she and uh, she got pile drivered like a move, mm-hmm. not the video. <laughs> and <laughs> oh my, <laughs> she she got pile driver where it's like you're you're you basically like put their head in between their legs upside down and you yeah. fall. And the goal I guess is that your thighs or your ass is hitting before their head, but her head hit yeah. and it fucked up her neck and oh then she couldn't goodness. wrestle as much and then and then the the porn video and then she she OD'd. Did she really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Recently. Oh, no. I mean, wrestling, it's j- it's so... I think from the outside, I look at wrestling, I'm like, this is crazy. The amount of danger and the potential injuries and the lack of, like, career options afterwards. So, like, that's definitely something, especially when I first was like, oh, I want to be a wrestler. Like, for my like my friends and my especially my family, they were like, do you understand, like, the risk and the danger that's involved? And there really is, like... Any wrong move can not only be career threatening, but also like life ending threatening. Like people have definitely lost their lives, sadly, to wrestling. It's rare, but it the possibility does exist. And like I always say, if you're a wrestler, you're not you're 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 stupid basically. But if you're passionate about it, so it, it makes up for the stupidity. Because sure. we're, we're like like literally, I was just in Boston, Massachusetts last night, drove straight here. Um my body almost 24-7 doesn't feel like – remember before I was like, oh, I feel old? More physically than, like, actual, like, mentally. But it's something I've always loved since I was a kid. And the fact that I was able to chase my dream of doing it – because I went to film school as – like, I went to film school and dropped down. I took the risk. Like, okay, I'm going to try and make wrestling a career. And now I actually make a full-time living just off of wrestling without signing any TV contract. So – Fuck yeah. Uh, th- thank you. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank That's you. That's something yeah. to celebrate. Uh, but uh, so I like, completely freelance on my own boss, but it's something. What does your health insurance cost? <laughs> so I just went on my own health insurance because I turned 26 last year. Yeah. Just reminding mm. you of my age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, thankfully, knock on wood, 
haven't had to use it yet. Uh-huh. But uh, I have pretty good health insurance just in case. That's but yeah. that's on purpose. You like really like you 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 researched it to be like yes. What co- I just imagine some doctors like, how did he break his back? No. <laughs> No, that's on him. We can't fix that. <laughs> yeah. Why why through a table? I uh, well, I mean it's it's the I I was watching uh the night Owen Hart died. Oh. Uh which to me felt like like these these are why like wrestling is seared in my memory so much. So Owen Hart was was a was a very popular wrestler and he was doing a character at this this time where he was uh, getting lowered from from the ceiling or whatever, and it seems like these productions they move fast and they they you know they do fight call or some version of that. But basically, we were watching. They were uh, it was pay per view. I was having a friend of mine sleep over. It was a fun night, and yeah. and and they're playing a montage of like his character, like interviews and old matches, and then suddenly they just cut to a shot of the audience, and they just on a big wide of the audience, not even close, and you hear the announcer be like. Uh, uh, there's been uh, an accident. Owen Hart fell, and we didn't know a lot of. De- we're just watching it, and and like I don't. I was young. I was in fifth grade, yeah. and my dad doesn't know what's going on. And then um, I'm pretty sure the order of events were you didn't see his, him at all. They took him out of the ring, and then like right as the final match was starting, which was the Undertaker versus someone else, they announced that Owen Hart had died. And then they finished the pay per view. Oh my god! And uh, it was just like, and we ended up not having the sleepover. We drove my friend back home. Oh. I think because it just like felt yeah important it just to felt, take. It just what? yeah, like the vibes were off. Just felt he, wrong. He like broke his neck. Like what? Uh, yeah, like, I, I believe they they they. Th- I've been told that he hit some. So he like he wasn't fell. fighting someone. He fell. No, no, he fell, uh, and then his his head hit the rope or the turnbuckle or something. Oh. And it was it was instantaneous or or you know it yeah. was, but uh. The next night, were, were you were you watching wrestling at this time? Uh, no, this was uh, before my time. So, the yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, he would have been like <laughs> that. Actually, two. wasn't meant to, that. So, one so, was so the next night, a young Hulk Hogan made his appearance on the show. Uh, he the next night they did a Monday Night Raw, and it was like the most emotional, moving thing. They they basically had their regular show the next day. But like someone did a match and did his finishing move in his honor, and they played a montage, and you saw all of these very kind of masculine men and women with just like weeping, and it was like in a way, it was like the first funeral or like you like that I had ever attended as a child. So it, that's why it's so yeah. visceral to me. Of course. Um, wow! Get I into this fucking shit. No, I didn't know. I Everyone, didn't know. you I go didn't home, you become big you. wrestling fans. Wow. <laughs> Downside. You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi.